Kia ora, good afternoon. This is the Rural News with Benedict Collins and Lorna Perry. A Northland dairy farmer is warning a repeat of last season's drought could be in store for the region unless more rain falls before Christmas. Dargaville dairy farmer Bill Guest is from Farmers in New Zealand and says recent rain has been a welcome relief, but more is needed. He says the water tables were low throughout winter and in October there was 30% more sunlight. Well, particularly in Northland, if we don't get 100 mil of rain this side of Christmas, uh, we'll have... Uh, the real risk of a repeat of last year um, because the moisture levels are just not in that soil. And I guess you, you know? have had rain this week, though. Has that been a welcome relief? Well, that's only, that's only 30 mils or an inch. And, uh, you know, any any rain you get, of course it's welcomed. But the fact is that we need a significant deluge of rain. Um, we, we haven't got enough. An inch is not enough. It keeps things going and freshen up. But all you need is a week of warm winds in Northland and things can change uh, dramatically. How much of a blow would a repeat of last year be for farmers in Northland? Oh, I would say to the high indebted farms, uh, they, they will fold. And um, generally, uh, uh, when you have a drought and you've got lack of farmer optimism and all that sort of thing, you've, it flows through the rest of the economy. They say that every dollar a farmer owns, it creates three or four dollars in the community. Um, there's nothing like a farmer who loves to spend when there's money, but um, you know a lot of people, I say, are dragging a whole lot of debt from the last drought. I think there's an average of $150,000 worth of debt from last year's drought that's been dragged into this season, and this was the season with the increased payout that everybody was hoping that they could retire some of that debt. That was Dargaville dairy farmer Bill Guest. And there hasn't been significant rain on some Queensland cattle farms for years. In May this year, the Queensland State Government provided farmers some respite by letting them graze their cattle in national parks until the end of the year. But with the December 31 deadline to have their 7,000 cattle out of the five national parks fast approaching, some farmers are saying they need an extension or they'll have to shoot all their stock. The ABC's Kate Stevens reports. Deborah Vinnie's 600 head of cattle have been grazing on Forest End National Park north of Aramac since August. Her station near Hewenden hasn't seen decent rain for three years and there's no grass left on her property. She says she can't move the cattle out of the National Park, leaving her with one choice. It will be kinder to shoot them than to move them. They are still very poor. They're getting a little bit stronger naturally, but they're filling up, but they're still not overly strong. And to actually put them on a truck again and try and remove them is just downright cruelty. She says she's praying for rain. Maybe it'll all rain and maybe everything will be all right. But if it don't rain, look, I don't know. Since around July, more than 7,000 head of cattle have been shifted into five national parks throughout Queensland. But the legislation that got them in there also says they must be out by December 31. Ms Vinnie says she needs an extension to keep her cattle alive and isn't sure what else to do. It's not very nice and, yeah, if I was another person, I think I'd be wondering how many you'll shoot before you shoot yourself. The National Parks Minister Steve Dixon has ruled out any extensions to grazing in the parks. He says the government is looking for state-owned land to relocate the animals, but says so far only enough land for about 1,000 head of cattle has been found. Now, we have been over backwards to assist the cattle grazing industry and we would do it again in a heartbeat, but when you broker a deal, and I can tell you most farmers are very honourable people who know a deal is a deal. But Deborah Vinny says her cattle need to stay put to survive. She says without rain, she'll only have one decision to make. Do I shoot the cow, the poor old mother cow, do I shoot her first so that she don't get stressed when I shoot her baby? Or do I shoot the baby first or the mother first? It's a bit like, yeah, I'm wondering who to shoot first. That report from the ABC's Kate Stevens.